Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Forivista, the online newsletter of the Observatory of Naga. Um, today, we will focus on the perception of borders. We are uh, very pleased to have with us uh, Sharam Koshravi. Hello, Sharam. Uh, Sharam Koshravi is a professor of social anthropology at Sokol University, and uh, his research interests include anthropology of Iran and the Middle East, uh, migration, human rights, uh, forced displacement, and he's author of several books. We were just talking about it. Um, in 2019 in Milan, um, we had the chance to host a presentation of his book, uh, The Illegal Traveler, an autoethnography of the borders, uh, translated in Italian as Io sono confine. So, Sharam, welcome again. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's great to, to be back uh, uh, at Naga. So uh, today we would like to start uh, our conversation engaging on the meaning of borders. Uh, as to some 2020 lockdowns um, crystallized the uh, concept of physical boundaries, especially to uh, parts of the world unused anymore to restrictions to such fundamental freedom. What is the meaning of borders? Um, I think to, to answer that question, we should think about uh, borders in terms of lines dividing states, but rather um, understanding borders in, in, a, in a form of practices, in a series of practices that can happen at the, the, the actual place of border, but also other places. So, so uh, borders are practices which um, not only exclude people, but also uh, include people in a very specific way. So, so we can talk about uh, 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 the kind of differential uh, inclusion as people have. Uh, so it's so very much is about race and racism. So, so this is, this is uh, uh, something uh, I want to emphasize uh, when I, I talk about borders. Uh, race and racism is, is, uh, is very central. Borders, um, they did, did not uh, come from God or nature. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We created them. Um, and we created them not long time ago. Yeah? But Today, we take them so for granted, for given, that, that we cannot imagine that there, there would be another kind of uh, uh, life without borders, yeah? So they have penetrated every single detail of our everyday life. Um, and... Um, organizing not only you know, mobility uh, and belonging, but also how we imagine. So, so borders uh, and the impact of borders uh, on our imagination and how we imagine the world is, is, is very much uh, uh, of significance to, to talk about. This is generally how I, I think about borders um, today. Um, both visible borders that uh, when you cross a border between two countries, uh, it's very concrete. You see that you are stopped, uh, you are controlled, maybe you are rejected, maybe you are deported, uh, but also invisible borders. Yeah, and, and when I talk about invisible borders, uh, I'm, 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 I'm thinking about those uh, uh, practices of of uh, uh, racial discrimination and exclusion. It's good to add that, that um, borders uh, do selection of bodies. Not everyone is mm -hmm. targeted by borders. Uh, so, so this is maybe the, the title, uh, this is the, 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 the reason of title of, of my book in Italian is Io sono confine. So this is, this is uh, not, not everyone 
is turned into border, but uh, some people more than others are targeted. Many immigrants know very well uh, extended lockdowns that a part of the world just discovered uh, this past year. Um, so while they ask for international protection or they live undocumented, uh, they experience uh, years of temporal and special exclusion from, from society. Uh, we would like to quote from, from the legal traveler. Um, undocumented immigrants lack not only the right to healthcare, education, police protection and work, but also the right to social relations and freedom of movement in public spaces. Learning from this year, uh, can the European Union implement effective ways of protecting uh, these fundamental rights of all? This is about the paradox. Um, mm -hmm. This is a par paradox of um, uh, the nation state system we have today and um, a struggle for human rights, yeah? And, and uh, mm -hmm. struggle for refugee conventions and uh, struggle for uh, the right of children, etc. And all these conventions and declarations, many countries in Europe, uh, almost all uh, sign, sign it. Uh, so, so the paradox is, is uh, on the one hand, there is a nation state. And it is like a club. It's you know you are a member of that club. Then you have uh, you know uh, access to to uh, to some rights, yeah, uh, to to do this, to be there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. At the same time, we have uh, people who are uh, escaping uh, from war, political uh, oppressions, or or they are escaping for for other reasons, yeah. Um, so how about that? How we can, you know, deal with that? And we see how Europe is, is not successful to deal with this part. Mm -hmm. On the one hand, they, they promise uh, the citizens that we protect borders. We, uh, we don't let uh, everyone come in. We have control of borders, but in reality, they don't. I mean, people are crossing the borders. Uh, mm -hmm. More, I mean, uh, not, and you mentioned this, uh, the pandemic, uh, and uh, and we see that that one consequence of the pandemic has been growing gap between uh, rich and poor, yeah, growing gap between the global south and global north, and this is not strange that that in the beginning of pandemic the number of border uh, irregular migration. Um, decline, but, but now it's going up, yeah? Both from Mexico to United States, but also, for example, just a few weeks ago, um, thousands of people crossed the border from Morocco to, to, uh, to Spain in, in that Spanish enclave. Going back to the, the section, the passage you, you read from the book is uh, about, uh, uh, restriction of mobility, yeah? And the restriction of mobility in terms of, uh, um, in terms of not only physical mobility, but, but also social mobility. And, and it is very important to think that how they are related to each other, yeah? That uh, through physical mobility that you can, you are able and you are entitled to cross the border from one country to another, you can improve your social uh, situation too. You can have a better job, maybe a better salary. You can get better education for your children, etc. Yeah. So, so they are related to each other. Yeah. So, so one right to to migration, right to to uh, mobility, is related to mo to the right to safety, right to good education, etc. I remember in, a, I think, a conference online um, I've joined this year, uh, I heard you speaking about stealing time. One aspect of borders and bordering practices is, um, is through time and temporality. So, so uh, delaying people, 
delaying migrants at the border, at the, you know, during asylum process or uh, putting them in detention centers uh, and also deportations, yeah? It is kind of delaying them, uh, keeping them in, in prolonged waiting time. And when I'm talking about waiting, I'm talking about many years and sometimes decades, you know, people have mm -hmm. been waiting for 15 years, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, so, so uh, and, um, uh, and one consequence of, of, uh, of these bordering, uh, temporal bordering is that people are uh, rid of time, yeah? So what happened to uh, all this time people uh, spend to learn the language, to work, to pay taxes, um, to, to build up uh, relationships uh, in that country and suddenly they are deported, yeah? So that time is stolen from them. So this is why very briefly I try to, to explain the, what I meant with that, yes. Do you think that there is a chance to find more communalities today after experiencing a, a lack of social relation and a, a lack of quality time? On the one hand, um, maybe, yeah, maybe. I mean, when we talk about crisis and when we talk about disasters um, that um, many of us faced uh, since the break out of the pandemic, it was uh, everyday life for many others that that mm -hmm. kind of crisis, that kind of you know uh, problems. Um, so on the one hand, uh, theoretically, uh, yes, that that we should do that. Yeah, that we we we, we get similar experiences, uh, etc. But on the other hand, we see no that we see also. Um, uh, increasing, um, increasing racism, increasing, you know, discrimination. We see that that deportation become even uh, more intense, that um, uh, people talk about, you know, stealing of jobs, who are these people coming? And also that linking virus to migrants, that migration, you know, became a, a you know, uh, uh, channel for virus for coming uh, into the country. So, so, mm -hmm. so the, the, there is, you know, uh, for, for producing fear and, and uh, not only xenophobia, but also uh, racism linked to, to, to pandemic crisis. Um, you were, uh, you were uh, touching a topic that you discussed extensively on your book, which is uh, refuginess and, and homelessness. Um, and you were mentioned that refugee camps and uh, detention centers, uh, they place the undesired people outside of society. So that's uh, reducing human beings to be asylum seekers. So, so what is the impact uh, of borders on people? It's, it's make a selection that some people can cross borders, some others not. And to be able to cross borders, then you have to to um, um, live up to those expectations and you know roles and, and boxes which yeah. you know um, make it possible to, to cross borders and one of them is refugeeness asylum process yeah um, so refugeeness is a kind of um, uh, situation is a kind of mood of being that, that many people have to perform, yeah? Uh, and it is, uh, a, you know, linked to, as I write in the book, is about, you know, uh, performing misery, performing suffering, because refugeeness is, is, uh, mm -hmm. is associated with, with, uh, with suffering and, and uh, lack of agency, you know, all these things. So, so for, for, for um, proving that, that you are a, a, a real refugee, then you, you have to, to make it even more uh, in the eyes of those who decide uh, about that. 
that was also part of your question about homelessness. And um, I use homelessness as a metaphor to discuss about a different, uh, a different future um, that how can we imagine a different world, yeah? Um, so for me, it's very important to have a vision, yeah? I am not saying that we can remove borders today. Uh, even if we can remove borders today, many problems will not be mm -hmm. go away, yeah? Because uh, poverty will be there, class division will be there. So, so removing borders should be combined with other, other um, politics. Um, but in the longer time, it is important for us to have political visions, that we have visions that can uh, um, give us uh, a picture of a different form of um, life that, um, as I said, you know, nation state system uh, was constructed by human beings, but us not long time ago. So we can uh, and make it, it, we can remake it, it, we can make it differently. So, so um, homelessness is a kind of idea for rejecting nation state system, yeah? And of course, um, I'm not saying houselessness. Everybody, you know, need a house, a shelter, somewhere to live, perhaps. Um, but when I say home, is about uh, idea of belonging. That that uh, we are here. We are Italians, or we are Norwegians, or what we are Iranians, and and those others are not. They don't belong. So this is a, a way to go beyond this categorization. This is, for me, is a way to go beyond uh, uh, drawing boundaries between us and others, yeah? So it's a kind of openness, it's a kind of, um, it's a call for rejecting home and belonging, um, and uh, a call for um, open doors, open gates, uh, for for, for uh, coming and going for communication, as as the Mediterranean Sea was not yeah. you know, fifty years ago, yeah, it was not a border. Mediterranean Sea was a, a channel for communication, for trade, for coming and going. Yeah, people crossed the the sea from south to north, from north to south to work to. Uh, to study, to coming and going, but today it, it is a border. It is a militarized border and uh, there is no coming, com coming and going. It is no mobility. There is only migration, you know, irregular migration. And when people cross border, uh, they, go, they cannot go back. There is no mobility circulation, but there is something else. So, so um, so this is um, uh, homelessness for me is is a is a is is a need uh, for um, for thinking beyond uh, nation state system. Mm. We would also like to 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 quote another sentence in your book uh, and asking what do you mean by saying, uh, which is really in the topic, is only when home has vanished and humanity is no longer territorialized. Only then there will be a chance for humanity. Other people have, have been saying this thing, including Georgia Agamben, for example, mm -hmm. and many others who, who are, you know, th this is, I mean, when I, my, my critique of nation state system is at the same time a critique of capitalism, is a critique of racism, and they are related to each other. Mm -hmm. It is a critique of how we, have uh, treated the nature, yeah, the, 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 the earth, yeah. So um, destruction of environment, destruction of, of nature through uh, fossil capitalism is very much related to nation state system, is very much related to racial capitalism, 
So they are related to each other. So what is the future of us? What is the future of our children, of the next generation to come, if we don't change the system? Uh, and this is not, again, changing uh, nation state system, but also um, the way we produce and consume and, and you know, uh, a division of labor and resources. Um, so this, this is one part of this, but also I was thinking about um, something which is happening these days, these years, uh, which is criminalizing of hospitality, criminalizing mm -hmm. of solidarity, which is, I think, is, is very dangerous. It's very dangerous in terms of what kind of civilization, what kind of culture, what kind of society we are when saving a child, saving uh, a, a man from drawing, from giving food to a, to a woman who, who is hungry, taking care of a sick person is criminalized, yeah? So what is left of a culture? What is left uh, of, of a civilization if, if, um, if solidarity is criminalized? if hospitality is criminalized, um, when, when kindness and, and um, uh, compassion is criminalized. So, so what, what happens to our children? What happens to the, to the next generation uh, when, when, when this is happening to, to our civilization and, and to, to the culture? The chance for humanity uh, it is uh, you know, not be so, so much uh, if we continue, you know, doing things, bordering um, uh, and, and uh, just destroying the nature um, and also criminalization of solidarity as, as we have been doing so far. We actually had so many questions for you and your book is uh, really a book to read. It, it was a interesting and also moving and it's um i refer to illegal traveler you you of course uh um i've written uh different other books and and not just books actually uh, i watched some videos of you online which uh mixed art together uh which is probably an experiment to try to um to reach uh, more people in different ways we are open if you like to, to, to tell us something more about your, your uh, work, uh, your recent work, if you like. I'm, I'm looking at what happens after deportation. So, so um, not only before or during deportation, but, but you know, people who are deported from you, what happens to them? Yeah? Uh, many times you are not curious to know that. Uh, mm -hmm. Researchers or journalists. So, so this is what I'm doing, but also, um, I'm very much uh, interested in in, um, in temporality and, and waiting. I think one of the the, the, the videos I made um, with, with a friend, um, like Mariema, who is Italian Ethiopian artist, uh, is about waiting and, and uh, you know using the visual and using uh, you know other other. Uh, forms to, to communicate, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, knowledge and experiences, not only in written words, but, but also, yeah, we try to, 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 do, to do our best. Yeah. So um, thank you very much again uh, to, to have been with us. Uh, it, it has been a, a honor to have you here. Thank um, you so much. It's my pleasure. And thank you all. Uh, if you like to keep uh, following us, please visit our uh, website, the Naga website, our Facebook page and YouTube channel, and we'll see in the next release.